Hey everyone, welcome back. I uh, hope you don't mind. I've already started with a uh, base coat of titanium white. And then I sprayed some Titan Buff over the top, but I've left the belly. No real mystery to how that one took place. So I think what we can do is we can move on. Uh, we're going to use the handy dandy $1 mesh with some Nickel Azo Yellow. And then we'll place that just randomly over top, turn the pressure down, I have it about 10 PSI, and just spray through. Okay, with our sap green hue in the brush, same idea. We'll start from the top and just give a light Spray across the back. The back's going to be the darkest part of this lure, so give it a few passes. And then the same idea. Have one fold going vertical, and I'm actually going to spray in a downward position here. Let's bring that down a little bit further. Okay, we got some sepia in the brush. And we're gonna start just in front of the eye. Next, with the sepia still in the brush, just this random stencil. I honestly don't know where it came from, but we'll just kind of line up along the back, keeping things random from a distance. get a bit of a lateral line going. Okay, sepia is still in the brush. Run it up and down the back. Right over top of that green. with some transparent white and the modeled stencil. We're gonna focus on the head here. Okay, just get some mesh along the sides from a distance through some mesh very lightly, we're going to spray through. Just to get a bit of a scale in there. 
Now I know this step might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but we're going to be putting the sepia on the brush again anyways for the eyes. So then this step will all come together in a moment. So the transparent white has allowed us to put on some green gold and then just spray across the body. All right, with the sepia back in the brush, I couldn't quite decide which eye to go with. So we have one that's a little more red with a white ring around the middle, around the iris, and then the opposite right there. So I'll just paint them both up, see which one turns out better. And we'll just put a little bit of sepia on top. Okay. We'll put those off to the side, let them dry, come back to the lure, and go over one more time. Okay, got our fins on. So I feel like we can do a little bit better around the head here. Uh, just kind of clean up a little bit of the detail. Okay, so to be honest, I thought the decision would be a lot easier uh, when it came time to do the eyes. So. This one looks more like my reference picture, but I like the contrast that the red one has. I don't know. Let's go for contrast. I am curious though, what would you have done? Gone for the contrast or gone for the one that's more, more like the reference photo? Okay, let's put some clear on there. All right, hooks are on. We did it. I like it. Turned out well. Um, thank you so much for watching, especially if you got this far. It's greatly appreciated. Um, if you've subscribed already, you're amazing. Thank you. Uh, if you don't mind, just hitting the like button or subscribe if you haven't. Uh, it really means a lot to me. And uh, yeah, appreciate y'all. Okay, have a great weekend. Bye.